Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMD and I'm back with a brand new video and this time it's the AOR GT3 Elite Championship Season 10 Round 6 at Bruno and um, this is a race I was kind of looking forward to. Um, my pace was a bit up and down in practice so I wasn't too sure what it would be like with the lobby full but um, at times we seem to be doing all right. Um, race pace was definitely a lot better than the quality pace I had. So um, yeah, um, should be a decent race. I know CJ Carl was getting to race this, this race as well because um, obviously there was people missing as Carl is down as a reserve. So me, CJ, Prenner and Carl obviously all in the Lamborghini and um, in practice I'd seen that they were pretty quick. So it was gonna be a tough race. Um, the pace was definitely very fast at the front so um, yeah it was going to be tricky and obviously we didn't know what pace anybody else was doing so um, yeah just hoping that I could sort of just manage to get a good quality position and, and go from there so yeah anyway let's get to my qualifier performance and see how I did. As you can see I just just couldn't put the lap together it just just kept getting away from me um I thought I'd probably get around the 57.7 but I never managed to and we actually get jumped for third position by a printer and yeah as we go into the manual rolling start as usual with AOR and in fourth position so it wasn't too bad but um yeah could have been could have been a lot better but as we come round now to towards the end of the lap you can see on the formation that we've got Carl who got pole position actually spins it on the formation lap now um, I wasn't too sure or, or of the rules I thought if you spun it on a formation lap um, if you spun off the track that you'd have to go all the way to the back but he was still on the track so I wasn't too sure whether he could sort of rejoin or whether he had to go to the back but um, anyway that's promoted us back up into third um, and bearing in mind in, in all this I actually put my fuel to lean on the formation lap just to save that extra bit of fuel um, just in case we're using more than what I've calculated. So I'll put it to lean, but the problem was, and I've done this in the past, I think in season eight, where I forgot to pull it back to fast. So you'll see now, we actually get a great start, a really good start. Um, and yeah, briefly we jump up actually into second position, as you can see, I'm up into second, but just look how I just get totally pulled away from. You see printer breezes past us, and midway through the corner, I actually realized, hold on a second, why are they so much faster than me? And then I go back to the floor and I try to do it at mid corner. You can see I get on the grass and that really puts us in a bad spot. You see everyone just pretty much gets a run on us. You see Carl, we've managed to make up quite a few positions. He's not inside, we've got Goon on the outside, also Green behind us as well. And we're in the middle getting sandwiched a little bit and 
I was sort of worried about Carl hitting us, so I went a bit wide and ended up touching um, the Goonie. And yeah, we lose sort of three positions. And then we're still under pressure as well by um, Oli D. So this could be four positions down from almost five actually, because we, we did actually end up starting in in um, third position. So we've got Oli D in front of us now, also green right behind us. So we've lost quite a few positions at the start, really compromised by sort of the exit of turn one and then letting uh, Carl and the Goonie get a run on us, which they both went past. So um, yeah, pretty bad start for us. Um, need to sort of make them positions up because obviously CJ leading the championship he's away at the front obviously not starting on pole but sort of given pole position by Carl's mistake and um, yeah it was pretty uh, uh, tricky spot to be in gonna be losing even more points in the championship now um, and because we're stuck behind so many cars it, dirty air really is just horrible and you can see us getting completely sideways there having to catch it and get on the throttle at the same time to stop green from being able to get up get up the inside of us so um definitely tricky conditions and I'm someone that I really hate being in traffic because just the just the, the dirty air is just crazy on this game and um, always always affects me really badly whenever I'm like stuck behind people but we try to go up the inside of Oladie here line. leaves us the space breaks quite early as well tries to get the cut back but we just managed to just hold it for long enough in the middle of the track so we can't really get on the throttle but me knowing that the Porsche is always going to be a little bit quicker down the straight and obviously a little bit slower in the corners. Um, I knew if I could just keep a tight line for the last corner, I should be able to hold it. But we come into turn one now, and we just get completely sideways out of nowhere. Completely sideways. Get on the curb again, and um, yeah, you watch watch the run they get on us. And that's the bad thing about Bruno. It's not so much about the entry speed, it's more about the exit. If you get the exit wrong, then you're just toast. And then the position we've just made up, we just end up losing it and losing another position. So now, we are down in 8th position, um, we've got Skull right behind us as well in the Porsche and yeah it's just gone from bad to worse really and you can see we're almost, almost 10 seconds behind already, 7 seconds behind and we're only on lap 3 and with us battling and going side by side we're just going to be losing more and more time everywhere and obviously being in 2nd in the championship behind CJ we are just losing so much points, so much time and we actually do a bit of a, a block one move on Skull there. Um, we don't get on get on a power in the middle of the corner, and he just doesn't really realise and just runs into the back of us a little bit. But there was no damage on my side, so it wasn't really a problem. But uh, the car felt so bad in traffic; it was crazy. It felt so bad. You can see it. Look how much time we've lost. We are now actually 10 seconds behind. So already on this lap, we've lost three seconds, and the lap's not even finished yet. So I was just thinking, Jesus, this is going to be. A tough race and um, we've got sort of a lot of cars in between me and the, and the podium um, which is pretty much what I try to aim for every race just try to aim for getting on a podium at least and yeah the amount of time we've lost now it's, it's gonna be now and impossible knowing how fast uh, Carl, Prenta and CJR it's gonna be extremely hard to get a podium out of this race um, and now you can see we're going to have guys in between us like the Goonie, Ollie and stuff like that. So I decided to pit early and just just get some clear air because it, it just wasn't working out. And this is a tactic that I've used in the past. Um, sometimes this worked well. It works pretty well at uh, Rapuna. Um, also at Sonoma I thought it worked quite well. But obviously I had the wheel glitch right near the end which kind of messed that up. And um, I also did it at Indianapolis which was a bit too early so I had to pit twice. But this time just in and out as quick as we can get free air and just see what lap times we can do just sort of get our head down and it's, it's a lot easier to drive in clear air and it's just just the dirty air effect it's crazy it's almost like what f1's like nowadays but um as we come over the line obviously we've done a lap that's about three seconds faster than what we've done before so that shows you how slow we were going um when we were all battling and stuck in traffic and, and stuff like that and on this game when you do battle you do lose a lot of time so um, yeah now we are sort of lapping in the low two minutes which was wasn't really great considering that um, we'd be getting 59 frees and like shaving 58s in practice in on um, heavy fuel but obviously in the race is always just that little bit slower or always about six six or so temps slower than what you do in practice um, 
don't know why that is uh, I think it's got something to do just with more cars being on the track maybe it's a connection issue or something like that but I'm not too sure but we managed to catch up to Joshua Luke I'm not too sure if he's been in the pits and Ollie's actually pitted already as well I'm not sure if he had damage but we've managed to jump Ollie and he's quite a way behind us so he's probably had some sort of damage um, early on in the race and that's promoted us up into 10th position now on the back of Joshua Luke and um, just need to try and make positions up don't want to get stuck behind anybody for too long because obviously there was guys um, in front of us before we pitted that we're going to try and jump and see how high we can get um, and yeah so we get the run on Joshua Luke going into turn one he doesn't really defend it so we go down the inside try and keep a tight line as well and the thing about this track is very easy to get the car sideways if you go into the corner too tight um, but yeah we managed to get the run out of the corner and we are now up into ninth position and it's just about just keeping our head down just and just go for it see what we can do I didn't really have the confidence I had in the car in practice um, it was a little bit a little bit sketchy on the braking but um, just yeah when you're in free air it just, just doesn't affect you as much but when you are in traffic it's almost as if you when you're in traffic you need to set the car up for being in traffic and when you are in free air you need to set the car up for being in free air because I think when you run more downforce it's a lot better when you're in traffic because the back end just doesn't step out as much um, but when you run the lower wing it's faster when you're at the front in clear air but when you are stuck behind people it's just so sketchy under braking but managed to make up another position as um, F4H green is in the pit lane so um, yeah we're up to 8th position now and I think this is where we was before we pitted so we've already made that um, back to the position that we were but now it's just about um, undercutting people you see Thomas Ethan there spun around on the apex and I think that's Scold that we've already caught up to so remember Scold was right behind us as, as we went into the pits so I've managed to make up a pit stop in about 13 laps 12 laps I managed to make up a pit stop so I'm not too sure I think they've just been battling and it just shows you how much time you lose um, when you battle literally um, not sure if they made a mistake but if you look at CJ on lap 16 He's already 44 seconds ahead of us so yeah it shows you um obviously how fast he's been going number one and two just how much better it is to just be in clean air and um being able to just get your pace down and for me i've managed to made a, make a pit stop from these guys who haven't made a pit stop and um yeah literally just managed to make up a pit stop in 12 13 laps so Go down the inside of Scold, um, try to defend it briefly um, so he can get the cut back and get a better run out of here. And I knew if he gets on the power before I do, the Porsche is going to be straight past him because it is pretty decent on the straights, but probably lacks just a little bit of performance on the braking. But I was so, I couldn't trust the car in the braking zone. You can see I'm braking quite early, so he could have actually got all the way around me there, but um, runs a little bit wide and that gives us the line, gives us the corner. So we are now up into sixth position. We have Jam 21 in front of us and um, I believe it's the Goonie as well that's in fourth position so these are the guys we're sort of racing for full position now so it's up to me to sort of start closing the gap on these guys and um, at the moment the Goonie is probably probably net in fourth position if he was to pick he's probably still ahead of us and I wasn't too sure if Jam was ahead of us it would be pretty close so now is the time I had to sort of just start pushing and just at least Put some consistent laps together because that probably is more important than anything else and you see Prentner he comes into the pit lane so we're gonna see how much time we've actually lost to the guys at the front because obviously Prentner was in second position so Prentner um, obviously drops down to to fifth position now he's in the pits and um, he's in front of us so we can sort of um, we can sort of see what speed we're doing when he comes out and see if we are at least within a few tenths of the leaders that way I know we should probably be gaining on the guys in front of us um, so yeah we see he's come out the pits way in front of us he's about 13 seconds but skipping forward now to lap 21 as we just passed the Goonie in the pit lane he's just coming out so you can see how tight it was and I actually did make up quite a bit of time luckily um, and we come out we're only about two seconds ahead of him at this point so we're actually up into fourth place um, jam pitted um, so we've managed to get up into fourth 
Big Print is in third, Carl in second and CJ still leading but Carl makes his way into the pit lane now. Well, CJ had about a five and a half second gap over Carl so um, yeah he's still pretty looking pretty good for the win and obviously if us managing to fight back to fourth we're still losing quite a lot of points at this point um, but we're just going to sort of try and focus on the pace and try and make sure we can get away from the Goonie because obviously he wasn't that far behind us um, but um, yeah it's just about not making mistakes and see if any opportunities arise out front um, even though I doubt it because we are quite far back um, lost quite a lot of time to Prenton now as well the pace just didn't seem to be there and um, yeah we just just really settling for fourth obviously it could have been a lot better if I could just if I just had got a better start sometimes you can just get pulled along even if people are going faster than you so um it was it was a pretty difficult race in the in the fact that I had a really bad start and then after that it was just sort of just just in the, in the middle of nowhere just trying to make sure I put laps together because the people I was actually racing I couldn't actually see um but yeah on lap 24 now out of 30 so only um seven laps to go and we're coming around towards the middle of the sector and I, I just start looking down at the time and I'm thinking the time between me and CJ really is starting to, to close down so obviously at this point I'm thinking that oh he must he must be in the pit lane but the pit sign hasn't come up so I'm thinking what has gone on and I thought he's definitely made some sort of mistake but he was losing so much time I thought what kind of mistake is it is it I thought he had a wheel glitch or something because if you see the time he's lost nigh on 20 seconds plus to me and his pit has still not come up and now I see him in the pit so I was like wow he's really lost a lot of time um, I wasn't too sure what had happened and obviously if you'd watch the stream or you watch CJ's um, highlights he actually spun it on the way into the pit lane and then took him, took him about 15 seconds just to get the car spun around and, and he kept stalling and stuff like that so he lost so much time in the pit lane and yeah so he's just come out the pits he's not too far in front of us now only about four four seconds so that really has um closed the gap in the championship um in the points difference that he would have been winning the race with me finishing fourth so now he's just a place in front of us so i think that's only a, a couple of points difference um yeah and bearing in mind we don't actually know what's going to happen with carl because he didn't go to the back of the grid and i'm not sure if you had to so we're not sure if he's going to get some sort of penalty as well so we could still end up on the podium not too sure yet but um yeah it was definitely an eventful race for the guys out front in terms of incidents um for us obviously just had a pretty crappy start and just really just focusing on my own race i've had a lot of races like this this season where i've just been by myself I haven't had a lot of races where i've been racing someone throughout the whole duration and i think with with the pit stops added to this season the mandatory pit stops a lot of the time is you're racing people without racing them on the track which has just added that extra element of strategy um, and sort of judging when to pit and when when's a good time to pit when's a bad time to pit as you can see um, in the Donington race the pit stop was crucial to the result of that race and we ended up messing it up and giving the win to CJ so um, you can see how important it is to pit at the right time and how important it is not to spin it going into the pit lane because now CJ's lost he's lost so much time he's lost about 30 seconds um, in, in total maybe and yeah just just crazy maybe not 30 seconds obviously he probably had damage as well so his pit stop might have been even longer so um yeah lost a lot of time and now we're sort of we pulled away from the goonies so we, we haven't really got that threat from behind anymore so now it was just pretty much just cruising to the line and just you know <laughs> just one of the races that we can kind of be grateful we managed to get back to fourth because honestly i thought after the first lap and after how much time I'd lost in the first couple of laps, it was going to be really hard to sort of close in in the Goonie and stuff like that. But, um, we managed to do it and now onto the last lap of the race. We actually set our, our fastest lap there on the penultimate lap. Um, and it was just, just one of them races, man, where the pace just never seemed to come. I never just, I never felt as comfortable as I did in practice. But I'm sort of used to that feeling again this season. It's been sort of... I'm either right on the pace and right up there or I'm just completely off the pace and 
to be honest, a lot of it has to do with just the conditions that we race in, man. And to be honest, it's something that um, it's been, I've said before, that I've brought up before. And I know that a lot of other people feel the same way, but the conditions that we seem to race in the AOR, it just never seems to be grippy. It's always around 80 Fahrenheit or whatever, and the track's just, just cold all the time. But it's not cold enough so you can run softs because the softs will go up but it's not hot enough to run the hards either so it's just always conditions where you feel like you've got to be catching the car almost and i just i don't know i don't know what it is we always seem to be racing in it's either six in the morning or it's in the evening or it's at night it's hardly ever at midday with hot track conditions and if it is at midday it'll normally be raining so um yeah it's just something that we just need to need to hash out maybe because it gets kind of jarring where you're always racing with the car just doesn't feel like it's got any grip and it's just there's just no need for it to be honest no need to be racing all the time with shadows all over the track and stuff like that it just gets kind of jarring but hopefully we can get some more races in the future with nicer conditions but um yeah we run wide there but it was on the last lap i mean obviously lost a bit of time it was actually up on our fastest lap we completely missed the last corner anyway and yeah coming across the line not that not that much went on in the race apart from the early few laps but obviously for the guys up front it was a lot more um of an exciting race i guess but we come home in fourth position it's a lamborghini 1234 um yeah i felt it was a pretty good track for the lamborghini i thought the balance of the car was pretty good um on this track and at this point in my head i'm just thinking what has gone on with cj how has he managed to uh how has he managed to throw throw that away he was in he was in control of that race he had a five and a half second lead all he had to do really is just get into the pits and make his stop and he would have been home and dry but um you can see right now we're looking at the results but we don't actually know who has won and who has come second because obviously um there's still the possibility that Carl could be getting some sort of penalty with I think Prentner only finished about uh, six seven seconds behind or something like that so if Carl was to get some sort of time penalty or or something like that then Prentner will be promoted to to the victory so um yeah judging on judging how big the penalty is we don't know um, I could possibly be possibly be promoted to a podium we don't know yet so um yeah definitely um, one that the stewards are gonna have to deal with um, but definitely uh, it was I mean it was eventful in some parts at the beginning but after, after that pretty much just me driving around by myself so I didn't make that highlight video too long and yeah it was just one of them but now we have a uh, next race to look forward to is the race at Catalonia which is the second 90 minute race of the season reverse grid and um, hopefully we can get a good result there Catalonia probably being one of my favoured tracks so yeah we'll be starting there reverse grid and hopefully we can get a good result um we'll see how it goes though but yeah it's cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and um, peace Yaver.